transfer freshman Corey Deason, who had the game's only goal, her first of her Matador career. Why don't you talk us through that uh, that play, Corey? Uh, I was just following what Coach West tells me to do, stay wide. Um, when the ball's on the opposite side of the field, I try to get in, try to get a piece of the cross, and I go right in between two players, and I got really lucky and finished it, side net. Thanks for the ball. <laughs> uh, what's your first goal in your season career? How does it feel? It feels amazing, and I'm still shaking. Um, just to know that I made my team proud is one of the best feelings I've ever felt in my whole entire life. You guys were so close all night to scoring. How did you guys finally break through? I feel like we all knew that we deserved to win this game, and we've been working so hard for this game. We've been working hard all season. Um, I just feel like all of our emotions and hard work finally pushed us through, and we were able to pull out a win. Okay, we're here with senior goalkeeper Cynthia Jacobo. One nothing shutout over Michigan, the program's first win ever over a Big Ten school. Got a big save late, uh, midway through the second half, and uh, we'll open it up to questions. Um, you did have some great saves tonight. Is there any of them you can describe to us? Um, the one v one was. I saw the ball go straight through our line, and I just I knew I had to come out big, help my defense come out strong, help my line, and make the save and help them out and keep them in this game still. Uh, the second half showed more offense from Michigan. The first half had CSUN dominated on offense. Were they able to exploit any weaknesses through you guys? No, they, they didn't technically expose any weaknesses. We held in strong. Even though they kept attacking, we, st we still held ours. And we wanted this win, and we wanted to get that shutout. So we worked hard for no matter what they threw at us, we came out with what, whatever we had. Um, you guys are now 3-1-1. Against some of the toughest teams on the schedule, what's the reason this season? We've just been working hard at practice, off practice, working as much as we can as a team, keep, keeping us, our chemistry together, and just being tough as possible out on the field, and bringing everything we have, know, knowing that we can become a great team. Uh, any thoughts on the upcoming games, Tennessee, USC? Got to keep working hard at practice, training. Uh, everyone stay focused and mentally prepared for the rest of the season coming up. It doesn't matter what schools we're going to play. We just got to come out strong like we've been coming out at least in those games. Head coach Keith West, Matador's 1-0 win over Michigan, the program's first ever over a Big Ten opponent. Uh, can you talk us through that goal, the one, the one difference on the scoreboard? That was a fantastic finish by Corey, but a great service on the ball. You know, we uh, we battled the whole game. I thought we had other chances to win this game. And that's a great team, though. They came back. You know, I thought uh, first half we had good control of the ball, but the second half they started coming after us. And just proud of our girls and how hard they fight. So far, you guys are a three-one-one on the season against some tough competition. What's the secret for success this year? Um, experience, uh, talent, our good players. You know, when you got good players, you have a chance to win every game. You guys are off to a fast start. Could this be that special season? You know, I just think about Tennessee on Friday. Uh, can you describe the second half to me? Like you said, first half, physical, I mean, dominating second half? I wouldn't say dominating. I would just say we had, we had good control of the game. And uh, um, they, they, they're an extremely disciplined team. And, and the second half, they, they threw a little pressure on us, and we didn't take care of things. That was a good side right there. Very good side. All right.